Hello friends, I'm Karan from Team Must. So welcome to Team Must Am. In this video, we'll learn how to use linked list in Java. So let's begin. So here we have Eclipse and we have created a new project named as Corrections Example. So in this package, we'll create a new Java class named as linked list example so we also need a main method which we'll select this and click on the finish button so now here we have the to do stub we'll just delete this and here we'll start writing the code first of all we'll create a new list uh, a linked list will create a list of type string let this call it as list and linked list so so we are having these we will just put press control 1 and We will try to import these. Remember, we are using the Java Collections API and we have to import java.util package. So, we will just import it and we will also import the linked list class from the java.util package. And so now we have created a list. So, now we will first of all add data to the list. List.add. We'll add new string let's call it one or uh, let's say it's zero next we'll add two more values one and two now we can display the values of the list by printing out them so we'll just run it So we can see the values of the list are printed as 0, 1 and 2. So now let us print the size of the list. Size of the list. So for the size of the list we will write system.out.println and we will print list dot size so this will give us the size of the list so let us run it so you can see the size of the list is 3 next what we'll do is we'll try to use the get method so we'll try to get the element at index zero so we'll also we'll print it using the system order print element and say element at zeroth location or zeroth index So element at zero index. So we'll just print it. So element at zero is zero. So next we have the set method where we can set a particular element. Let us say list dot set at index zero. We want to set the element as Zero. So now I'll try to print the whole list. Let us see what is the result. So we get zero, one, and two. So we can set or maybe change the value at a particular index. So for that we can use the set method. Now we'll try to remove a element from the list list dot remove 
let us say I want to remove the zero so I'll just remove the element at zeroth index now I will try to print the list now I'll write list after removing index zero element so we have one and two left in the list so we can remove elements using the remove method next we'll use the now we'll try to add a list to a list so first of all adding a list to another list so first of all we'll create a list of a string type that is called list as list one now we'll create new linked list and we we'll add some elements to this list let us say zero one and two So now I will add list dot add all. I'll use the add all method and I'll add the list one to list. So let us print the elements of list. Adding the list to another list. So now let's print the elements of the list we get 1 2 and 0 1 2 so now we'll try to iterate over the elements of list okay so for this we have two methods so the first method is using an iterator So we'll create a list iterator of type string and we'll name it as iterator and give list dot list iterator. So now we have defined an iterator for the list. So what we'll do is create a while loop while iterator dot has next until the next element is there so we'll try to print the element iterator dot next so this will print the element in the list so run this now you can see the list of list elements are printed and we have printed them one by one using the iterator method so the second method is the traditional for loop method so for that we we'll create a new for loop int i equals to zero i is less than list dot size i plus plus and i will just print system dot print element statement here i'll write list dot get element at ith position and print here list is 
this. So let us run this. So we get the list as one two zero one and two. So this is it for this video for link list. If you have any doubts or any questions regarding this video, you can post them in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel T Must as there's a lot of videos coming up. So we'll post a huge collections of videos for the Java collection API. So stay tuned. Until then, we must and keep rocking. I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye bye.